our journey takes us to a world so surreal that it could be mistaken for another planet. I'm talking about the strange realm of the Priapulida. Join us as we unravel the lives of these unique creatures and witness their extraordinary strategy for burrowing in marine sediments. Our exploration of Antarctica has revealed a land of extremes, where the environment is shockingly cold and the weather is notoriously unpredictable. This unforgiving continent has even been used to simulate extraterrestrial conditions for space research. And it's not just the environment that feels otherworldly. The creatures that call Antarctica home are equally astonishing. We've already encountered many of these animals, but this is the most alien of them all. Meet the Priapulida, commonly known as the cactus worm. There are only about 20 known species of Priapulida, ranging from minuscule sand dwellers to large animals like this one. The term cactus worm refers to its spike-covered proboscis known as an introvert. The mouth of the Priapulida is situated at the end of this introvert. The introvert can fold freely into and out of the cactus worm's body. The main body of the Priapulida is called the trunk. The trunk is sculpted with a pattern of ridges. These ridges are composed of circular muscles. The cactus worm can move by contracting these muscles, pumping water into the introvert. Here we can see a cactus worm contracting its trunk and extending the introvert. It pushes a narrow introvert into the sediment and then inflates it. The recurved spikes help lock it in place and allow the cactus worm to pull itself forward. This process is repeated, allowing them to swiftly navigate through the mud. These animals spend most of their time buried in sediments like this, where they hunt for soft-bodied invertebrates. A particular favorite are annelid worms. As the cactus worm submerges its body, we catch a glimpse of its tail end, adorned with a set of stringy tentacles known as caudal appendages. While the exact function of these appendages remains a mystery, some theories suggest their involvement in gas exchange. What do you think the caudal appendages may be used for? The Priapulida are strange creatures that inspire me to wonder about the unimaginable animals that could be living in oceans around the world. If you enjoyed learning about cactus worms, then please subscribe and continue to join us on our adventure around the southern continent.